letters are always uh, an, a little icing on the cake. And any icing that you can get over your competitive friends that are also applying for the job, go for it. Do everything you can to, to make yourself stand out. I would even say go as far as writing it on paper, handwritten letters go a long way. Emails are always wonderful. Um, we compile all the communication that we have with potential candidates before we hire them. So it's always nice to see if somebody's you know, reaching out and staying positive and, and uh, you know, following up on any kind of uh, communication that we've had. Yeah, so as far as following up after the career fair for a student, um, you know, there's a ton of different ways. Obviously, lots of students ask for business cards and um, so they can send thank you notes. So we for sure take that. Um, we love that. We love when a student kind of follows up with us. Um, I'd say a lot of times it's just really staying in contact with the career services or um, the career center. Um, as far as them being a true resource, um, they'll know the dates of when we'll be back on campus. They'll know when the um, resumes are dropping, when the application is due. Um, so really staying tied to um, their advisor or the career services partners um, and being tied with the, also with the recruiter, I think really will set that student up um, you know, down the road to make sure that they're in the loop with all the communication. They'll know when we'll be back on campus. Um, and that's primarily the best way. Well, I would say that if you're following up after a career fair as a student, you want to make sure that you utilize a piece of the conversation that you had to jog the recruiter's memory. Um, your recruiter will probably meet a couple hundred people and talk to them throughout the day. So making sure you remind them of the conversation that you had, letting them know that you really are interested and when you'll, uh, that you'll be attending their next event or that you'll be applying and that you look forward to hearing from them. So I think it's important to understand what person you're talking to when you are talking to an interviewer. Are you talking to someone that, whose job it is to recruit? You follow up differently with different people. Um, someone who is in HR and it's their job to recruit, send them an email, keep in touch with them. Hey, I haven't heard back in a couple of weeks. When can I expect to hear back from you? Uh, there's a fine line between being too aggressive and being confident and going forward and asking for what you want. So you want to be able to uh, keep that, that person knowing that you're still interested and that you want to make sure that you know, they understand you're following up with them. If it's someone who's a line manager, a lot of times they go back to their regular job and they don't have the access to the HR tools that the HR folks do. So following up with them would be different. It's like, hey, you know what, I haven't heard from HR lately. Is there someone you can connect me with? Can you help me out and give me the name of the right person to contact? Because the person you really want to follow up with is the person in HR.